Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen again. I'm sure glad y'all came to join me. We're getting rain. It is raining, raining, raining. And when it does this, I just want to get in the kitchen and cook. So today, that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to cook two or three different things today, but y'all will only see them as usual, one at a time. I have a very... Uh, faithful viewer and she's become a friend Patricia Lee that watches uh, apron strings and she was kind enough to share with me her oatmeal bread recipe it's a yeast bread and I'm gonna make oatmeal bread today thank you Patricia for the recipe uh, the first thing that you do is you take a cup of regular or quick oats and you pour two cups of boiling water over them and her recipe said while you have breakfast let that uh, you know make the oats let the oats absorb the water and cool down and then you proceed with the recipe and the next thing you do is you take a packet of yeast and put it in a fourth of a cup of warm water and uh, warm water put it on your wrist and if it's not too hot to bathe the baby in it's just about right um, if you don't have a baby, I don't know what you're going to do to figure it out. About 110 degrees, I think, but, but don't, I'm not sure. That's just how I test it. And you let that uh, proof. And then you start the procedure. So I'm going to get the camera, as usual, over to the mixer. Today I'm using my Bosch mixer. I don't think this is going to be a real strong, tough dough. But when I make bread, I use the Bosch because it's strong enough to handle anything. And um, we'll get these two loaves of bread made and let you know how good Patricia's oatmeal bread is. Okay, my yeast has proofed it's bubbling and foaming a little bit. I'm going to add it to the oatmeal. To that I'm going to add a half cup of honey she said honey or molasses and I'll have honey and this is local honey that I buy uh, from Big Creek Farms at Shepherd Texas I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. I'm just going to add all my salt at one time. Now that I'm going to start adding two cups at a time. That's what my instructor said to do. continue adding the flour until it forms a soft dough ball. I will uh, bring you back and let you know how much it took for me and then we'll let it proof um, it rise for uh, about an hour and then I'll put it into two greased loaf pans and let it rise again and then we'll bake okay, it. You can see that it's cleaned the sides of my pan. I used a little over four cups of flour in this uh, bread so we'll see how it turns out. But anyhow, I'm going to let it rise till it's double. Okay, I've got the dough into my bowl to uh, rise, and when it doubles, we'll punch it down and put it into two loaf okay, cakes. Okay, my bread is about doubled, so I'm just going to punch it down in the bowl here. And divide it basically into two loaves, and I'm just going to work it. Form me a little loaf. Put it in the pan. And 
and get it ready to rise again. Just a little oil on it. I like to try to make it fill the pan, but sometimes it just wants to gather itself back up. Okay, I'm going to cover and let this rise again for about 45 minutes. Okay, my bread loaves have risen to the top of the pan and I'm going to put them into my oven 350 for about 20 minutes and um, I'll be back with some good smelling cooked oatmeal bread. So my loaves might not be the prettiest in the world. Well, they're not. There's no might not be to it. But look at that slice of bread. I have found me a new favorite bread recipe. Thank you, Patricia, so much for sharing your recipe. Here I am, just proud as punch of my bread. Yes, I am. And Troy and I have already had a piece of it while it's warm. You really shouldn't cut it when it's warm because it kind of mashes it, but I couldn't wait. And I warmed up some um, of the potato chip casserole, chicken casserole for lunch. And we had us a piece of warm bread with melted Kerrygold butter, and it was wonderful. Patricia, I have me a new, a new favorite go-to. Doesn't take long to make it. I generally have everything you need to put in it, so I'll be making this again. Y'all need to try it. It's wonderful. And if you have a recipe that you would like for me to try, and I'll share on our group here, I'd love for you to email it to me, and I'll be sure and tell them who I got it from. I have a an arsenal of recipes, but I'm always up for adding a new one to it. So y'all, uh, y'all look through your files and see if you don't have something you need to share. Thank y'all so much for watching and for coming in here every day and listening to me rattle and learning a little bit of what I know that I enjoy doing. I hope y'all are having some good meals, using some of the recipes, spending some quality time with your family. So make some memories while you can. And um, thank the good Lord for every day that you can get up, put your feet on the floor, and enjoy another day on His earth. Thank Him for His goodness. Be faithful to Him. Come back here tomorrow, learn a new recipe. And until then, the Lord bless and keep you.